generating electricity from turbines installed in city water pipes. This is what Portland is going to be doing. That's a fantastic, amazing idea. I'm so excited about this. This is published on Collective Evolution by Joe Martino. Recent article, The Facts. Portland will launch a program in March of 2019, in two months, that will begin generating energy, energy via turbines in the city water pipes beneath the streets. This is great, but it's truly all, is that all we're capable of? Do we not already know that there are much better and more efficient technologies available? Are we ready to shift our consciousness out of our current world to pave way for new technologies? Well, this one seems to be pretty easy to set up. Now, there will be, uh, there, there, where there's a will, there's a way, as the saying goes. This particular story is an idea that crossed people's minds years ago, and it's incredible to see it being brought into reality. But the idea was from eight years ago, and it's more on that uh, discussion. This we're going to discuss now. Portland will be generating some electricity via water running through the city water pipes. And think about it, this goes on every single day, 24-7, so this is fantastic. All the water that runs through those pipes to do their already daily task of washing, showering, drinking, cleaning, everything, growing, will now help to also generate electricity. After partnering with a company called Lucid Energy, the city will begin to generate clean electricity from the water flowing under its streets. Up to now, Portland has begun replacing a section of its existing water supply network with Lucid Energy's specially designed pipes that contain four 42-inch turbines. Each pipe contains four turbines, as you can see in the uh, diagrams here below. As water flows through the pipes, the turbines spin and provide power to attach generators. Those, generator, uh, those generators feed the energy into the city's existing electrical grid. The project is known as the Conduit 3 Hydroelectric Project is scheduled to be fully up and running in March of this year. Unlike the wind and solar, this solution does not rely on the weather, making it a more stable, reliable energy solution. And how much is the output? The current project will be able to power 150 homes over the course of the year. Keep in mind this project is only being rolled out in a section of the city. Some limitations exist though as well. Turbines will only work in pipes where water flows downhill. This is so water always uh, does not have to be pumped as the energy is necessary. Pump the, pumping the water would negate the energy generated from the turbines, but there are pluses. The system also monitors the overall condition of the city's water supply network as well as assess the drinking quality of the water flowing through it. So while this idea is great and a step in the right direction, some deeper thought helps realize how our current system and structure do not easily allow for all our solutions to our challenges to be implemented, as everything we create has to fit within the confines of industry, creating jobs and limiting disruption. This is the result of a system that at its core is built on debt-based banking. So we have to come to terms with the fact that we will not see the advent of any real and practical solutions that we get off this system of commerce and develop a world that truly allows humanity to thrive and for technologies to be made available without the fear of disruption. That's because we truly are limited to the primitive, form, primitive forms of exchange we see being used today. Now, um, it's, uh, we're researching working funding allowing for future technologies and uh, it could revolutionize the way we provide energy to the society, they say. Wind, solar, and even the idea, this idea are primitive jokes compared to what many have witnessed in labs. So why are these advanced technologies hidden? And uh, bringing to mind, of course, a lot of the Tesla inventions that are being hidden as well. I'll leave a link below for you for this. It's on collective evolution. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, 
you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.